983 Live. My name is Margo. Today I'd like to help you find the easiest and most convenient way for you to thaw your E3 Live. Adding E3 Live to your daily regimen can help you achieve a number of health benefits. Here's how to thaw and use your E3 Live. Take a bottle and put it into a bowl or a sink full of lukewarm water. Once it's in the water for about 15 minutes, it'll be thawed enough for you to pour off an ounce and a half to two ounce shot. So you can pour yourself a shot to take. Another option to do with your thawed bottle after 15 minutes when you have just enough to pour out is to actually put that amount for seven to 10 days in another container that you can close and put into your refrigerator. So I'm just going to put this into my refrigerator. And then once your jar is full, you want to be sure and cap your E3 Live and put it back into the freezer so that it does stay good for you. 7 to 10 days is about the maximum amount of time that E3 Live can stay in the refrigerator. But in the freezer, it's good for up to two years. Another method for you to do for ease of use of your E3 Live is the ice cube method. You can get a regular ice cube tray and again measure out your E3 Live to the amount that you're taking. You can do a tablespoon, two tablespoons, tablespoons kind of small in an ice cube to get it to freeze, but I'll do two tablespoons today. And then once you have it measured out in your ice cube tray, you'll just put it into the freezer. Or they make these amazing little ice cube trays with covers. We have some perfectly frozen right here. They're good to go and we can just pop them out. So one of my favorite recipes is to do coconut water and ice cubes. So I'm just going to pop one of the ice cubes out. favorite recipes is to use freshly squeezed orange juice and bring it I'm also going to show you how to make a delicious blueberry E3 Live smoothie with the ice cubes we made earlier. for the day.